Welcome to my channel, my name is Valerio and today we're going to review the Elder Stain 2. This is a model kit from Good Smile Company, a model kit belonging to the line Motheroid. And for the one that are wondering why I never heard about it, I don't remember this robot or the anime, this comes directly from an original project by a pretty famous model uh, Naoki, pretty famous for the Nazda color line and for uh, some reinterpretation of Gundam that went onto the P Bandai line and all around looks like a pretty cool dude and if you want to follow anybody on Instagram you should follow him because uh, it shows some pretty cool kit. Anyway this is an original project so it doesn't really exist an anime out of it for now I think and some of these kits are within the Kotobukiya uh, company and some are from the Good Smile company. Now I bought this one on Obelink Japan for I can I honestly can't remember the price. I want to say 50 bucks, but that's about it. So uh, how this kit get, goes together, this is very similar to a master grade minus the inner frame. There is no inner frame, but for quantity of piece and detail, very, very comparable with one. First, we're going to look into the accessories. Uh, there is quite a bit of stuff. There are two manual. The first manual is the usual one that is the same with all the Good Smile Company product, color with instruction, uh, you don't need any glue, so don't worry about it. And pretty easy to follow, beginning to end, I want to say three hours, uh, a normal master grade uh, level of difficulty, but very well explained. And the other manual has a bit of backstory or what I suppose it has to be, some different color version. And finally, first time for a mother kit from Motheroid, color guide. Now the kit comes pre-painted and looks pretty nice. However, if you want to make it look at its best, painting is advised and here, they decided to put finally a list of color. Now there are a bunch of ends uh, as accessories. There are open ends, there are trigger ends, and there are uh, hands to carry the swords. I decided not to put the swords as accessories because they they help sell the old model kit uh, together. Like the model kit doesn't look great without the swords. Now this is one of the funny bit of the kit. There is the super gun that can be detached and become a smaller gun. Uh, sorry, uh, this is a rifle, becomes a smaller gun, uh, a portable one, and there are different accessories for uh, the, the barrel and whatnot. Uh, I'm not a giant fan of uh, weapons, honestly, especially when it's black plastic on black plastic, but this is pretty creative, and I can only appreciate that they put it some possibility of customization inside of it. Uh, overall, ah, sorry, I forgot, there are also the two tiny dudes, one that is able to get inside the cockpit and the other one that is for scale. I want to say this is a 148 scale, but might be 172. Uh, it's written on the box, I just forgot about it. Anyway, three hours of model kitting after, we can take a quick look at the robot. And I want to say that on the top of the head is like nine inches, uh, eight inches to himself. Anyway, it's fairly large. It is definitely onto the master grid side of things. It is surprisingly well balanced. You would expect that what, with those tiny feet, it wouldn't be able to stand up, but actually it can stand up pretty well. Now, from the design uh, standpoint, we can see from a mile away from where Naoki took exp expiration, there is a bit of macros, there is a lot of Gundam, there is a lot of five-star story with the GTM kind of stuff and the inverted elbow. Uh, there is the waist of the Barbados, there are some part of the legs that if they told me they were kit bashed from the Barbie, yes, I will say sure. I mean, I can actually recognize the parts. And there is the, the general feeling of uh, a Valkyrie from Macros, like if somebody told me this could become a jet, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Overall, it all works together, not the completely super innovative stuff that I was expecting designing wise, but I'm pretty sure that in a few iteration out of it, it means like in a couple of years, this is going to become his own things, his own identity, and it's going to be uh, a tiny bit more coherent. Right now I'm still able to tell the parts apart. A couple of years of working over it, this is going to become pretty, uh, the model that I can come out in two, three years, because this is part of a longer project. Uh, they're going to look a bit more their own stuff instead of like a collage of different robots. Overall, I still pretty like it. Eh? I think it's pretty cool and there are some elements of originality inside of it. 
Now for articulation, so the head as usual can move 360 up and down. This is a model kit and that is a ball peg. So the arms, so you have to move. So you see there are these kind of wings on the side. Uh, they are on the joints and the arm can be moved. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this can rotate up, can go down. So the robot uh, articulation on the arms on average is pretty good. And so that is on a ball peg. That is, the, those are the swords. Now it can, the waist can rotate, there is an ab crunch, there is a butterfly joint, butterfly joint is not great, and actually the cockpit is inside the chest, but you can access from behind. It reminds me a more recent anime, which I can't remember. Anyway, you can almost do the split. Uh, ankle close completely on the, as much articulation as you want, and the feet look very small, if you look sideways, you understand why it's stable. The feet are pretty large, uh just they start a bit below uh physics why not maybe the best the best project but uh they 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 look very they, they look particular and then obviously they remind me a lot of uh the various jehuti anubis from zone of the enders and from uh, line barrel or the robots from line barrel so that is the cockpit i have no idea how to access it but i remember i built it and you can put the tiny dude inside of it now uh, overall, uh, uh, if you like to play with your uh, model kit, this can hold a position. This way more articulate than you would expect it with such an over-the-top design. Now we're gonna do a tiny bit of a comparison. So Lego dude, Lego dude, very very small. Now we're gonna continue. Okay, with a big master grade. So master grade from Bandai. Uh, the high is the same, but obviously it's more chunky. This is the Sinan Justin by Takumi Studio. I am almost done. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see how it's gonna look like. The Dagan from Kotobukiya, uh, smaller. Uh, the Dragonair one, if I'm not wrong, HG from Bandai, way smaller. That is a tiny kit. And from Kotobukiya Exagear, I want to say that the concept for Naoki was to make his robot modular so that you can sweep and attach part as the whole Exagear line exists. Uh, we're gonna see in the future. It, it did show some kit bashing possibility with it. Now for conclusion. Okay, so we'll, uh, let's go with pro and cons. Uh, let's go with the cons. Some parts are not as, uh, they don't fit as perfectly as some other but overall it's a very good experience. So let's say, uh, I mean, you might have to cut a tiny bit more. Uh, there is nothing under gated, which uh, if you follow my channel, and especially if you follow Italian, you know that I'm not a giant fan of under gated stuff. Actually, I quite despise it because it's a double work on my hand. However, there are some parts which you want under gating because if you go to send it, uh, you will most likely reduce the surface and that will cause some kind of issues as in you will not be able to actively uh, like you will it's gonna be very noticeable that uh, that there was an arm marks there even if you send it so that those are pretty much my only two cons uh, the other one is that I don't have is is of access to the cockpit but this is really like me stretching it now for the pro this is way more stable than expected the design is still quite of uh, original even if a tiny bit derivative actually even if derivative uh, is gonna look pretty awesome painted and I'm looking forward to see somebody that will paint it uh, I will do but this is pretty down the line of my backlog of painting stuff uh, articulation this can totally keep a pose and also some cool one uh, plus the weapon is quite fun if you like to play with weapons and not, not. and finally this is pretty generous with this dimension so would I recommend it? So guys, if you like modern stuff, this takes a lot of element from modern robot, not all stuff, modern one, and they and they try to update them or to mesh them together. Something works, something works less, but this is the first robot from this line. So I expect a great thing for the future. Now, in the while, this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm very very curious to see how it's gonna look weathered, which I think is gonna look at its best But uh, because I don't think with a clear paint job will come up that good out of it But who knows maybe I get proved wrong. Anyway, if you like this robot, please let me know in the comments Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? My perspective. I do recommend it. It's pretty cool 
and I will see you again in two weeks. Have a nice day, guys.